It's Officer Jim Bettencourt, J-I-M-B-E-T-T-E-N-C-O-U-R-T, -E -E and I'm the Public Information Officer for the Oceanside Office of the California Highway Patrol. Okay, and Jim, if you would take us through um, the events that happened here today, kind of the investigation that you guys are currently doing. Like. Well, after uh, shortly after 2 o'clock uh, this afternoon, a Mitsubishi Montero uh, driven by a male in his 30s, we still don't have positive identification uh, from him just yet, uh, was traveling southbound on Center City Parkway onto the southbound 15. Uh, for whatever reason, he veered to his left, rolled down this embankment and struck a pedestrian working with a contracted Caltrans uh, group. Unfortunately, that individual who was just out here digging some holes, working on a sprinkler system uh, down this embankment died as a result of that collision. Uh, the driver of the Montero was transported to Palomar Hospital uh, with minor to moderate injuries. Uh, we were able to talk to him a little bit at the scene. He's able to give us some information, but uh, we're going to make sure that we investigate all aspects of this collision in order to get the best information for the families involved. And so you said that that worker was a Caltrans worker. He was on this kind of, I guess, vegetation area to working on some irrigation? Right, he was working on some irrigation. He's a contracted uh, uh, employee with a group that is contracted by Caltrans out of Paris. So not necessarily a Caltrans employee, but he is uh, somebody who uh, is contracted by them uh, in order to do this type of work. And I know that the investigation is still uh, preliminary, but are there, is there any reason to, any, any reason for you guys to look up there and see maybe why he, he went off the road? Is there any, any evidence you look at? We're going to look at all evidence, whether it be alcohol, drugs, what type of impairment there may have been involved in this crash. Uh, we're going to look to see if a cell phone was in use. We're going to look and see if any sort of distraction, eating, drinking, you name it, we owe it to the family of the individual involved who lost his life here uh, to get all the answers, to check all the boxes, to make sure that we get everything squared away. Do we have an approximate age on that uh, individual that was struck? Uh, right now, we're thinking he's about 25 years of age. Okay, and then the driver of that car? We still don't know yet. Okay. We're still waiting to get some positive identification from him at the hospital. You've got Palomar. Do you have deputies there now? We have, we have officers there with him now, uh, investigating it, going through the whole range of, of questions that we normally ask on these situations. So the uh, off-ramp was shut down from the northbound 15 because that's where the crash ended, but it didn't affect the southbound traffic, right? That's where correct. It did, not, it did not affect the southbound traffic from Center City Parkway because we are actually coming out of Escondido. And so the main portion of the freeway is really not affected unless you're coming southbound and you're affected by this uh, closure right here of the southbound or the northbound ramp. Okay. All right. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. You're welcome.